Hey y'all, it's Misty at the Max Happy Homestead. Um, today I want to give you a quick update of everything that's going on. I have been in the kitchen making soap today. I have some batches of dough in the oven for some customers for cinnamon rolls. This soap is actually Christmas presents. Um, these are the type things that generate income for our homestead. And I've made several batches. They're gonna go out for Christmas presents. So here is one of the stacks. This is peppermint. And as you can see, that's a pretty big stack of soap. And I have equal amounts of lavender done. And like I said, um, these are going out as Christmas presents to um, local customers of mine who have ordered them for Christmas presents for their family and friends. I've gotten such great reviews on these and there are so many people that love this soap. Um, this particular soap I have a YouTube video on and um, not the peppermint but the lavender. So I will attack a, attach a link and you guys can watch how that's done. It's a fairly easy process and um, the ingredients are simple and they are uh, natural and they're very good for you. So great product going out this season. These are the chicks that you guys saw a video of that I changed their container and cleaned their bedding up. Now, <laughs> these chicks are new chicks. And these are the ones that Broody and her friends, so I have two hens that are sitting on eggs. Um, the white pair hatched out together yesterday, and the black pair hatched out this morning. Now, if you can see this one's wounds, it's got wounds here under its neck and alongside its back. Um, this chicken... Or this, this chicken is one of the main reasons I decided to go ahead and get these babies out from under their mama. Okay, so honestly, here's where I was at with the hens. One of two options. One, I could, or actually three. I had, was contemplating leaving the hens in there, letting her take care of her own chickens, and put in a water in their coop, letting the other chickens kind of come and go as they please. Um, and I was like, well, the hens will take care of their babies. And she was, a, she was hovering over her babies when I went in and found them. Um, and that was my initial thought. I'm gonna leave them in there, feed them in the coop, put some water in the coop so the babies will have access to water, the mamas will be, hens will be right there with them. And then when I picked one of the hens up and I saw that there was not only one baby in there, there was two babies and the one that was damaged so bad. So it had, you just saw it with the two spots on its back and its neck was bleeding real bad. So, Spike wants me to pet him. So I thought, I can't leave these chicks in here. They're gonna get killed. So what I did is my next thought was I can either take the chicks and put them in the garage with a heat lamp and just take them out or I can take the hens, take the eggs, take the babies, put them in a different coop and just see what happens. My only down, really, my, the downside of that was I know from experience I've taken this broody chicken out before and put her some eggs in a little bitty tiny, tiny cage right beside the chicken house with the other chickens and she wouldn't sit on them. I, I think it was because I took her out of her comfort zone, put her in a different location or put her in a different, uh, Spike, don't scratch me. Um, I put her in a different location and 
she went but she wouldn't sit on them so I thought well, this is not gonna work so I left her there for a few days just to see what she would do and um, I knew that you know if, the, if she was gonna sit on those eggs she had to be sitting on them or they were not gonna develop so I left her in there and she just wouldn't sit on them she paced back and forth and just she was not interested I guess the moving her stressed her out um, so that was my next thought is if I take her if I take Brody and her friend and the eggs and the babies and put them in a different place she's not gonna sit on the eggs and we know that the eggs are already developing and I'm gonna lose those chicks so I felt like that was a losing situation and I also felt like leaving the chicks in there was a losing situation so those options were not good for us um, I have contemplated all these different scenarios in my head before of what I could do with them but I think for us the best option was to take the chicks put them in a container in the garage where I know they're safe put them a heat lamp in there and my hope is that the chicks that I hatched from the incubator and the chicks that Broody and her friend are hatching I hope that they're going to be so close that I can intermingle them in together and create a whole new flock. That flock is the flock that we're going to put in the garden to um, chickens are scratchers by nature. So they're going to till the garden for us. Um, they're going to decrease our bugs for us. And they're going to fertilize the soil for us. So I'm hoping that this flock, that was our goal with the incubator chicks. Um, so now that Brody and her friend is doing such a good job hatching those babies, um, I'm not going to worry about trying to get them to fit in with that flock. I'm going to do my best since they're so close in age to incorporate them together and make a whole new flock. And those are going to be our tillers, our bug destroyers, and our fertilizers for our garden. We will move this fencing all around our garden and get it and get it prepped. Spike is attacking my leg because he wants me to pet him. So that's kind of an update on the chicks that you've seen me clean their coop and the chicks that we have hatching in the um, hen house. Uh, but for right now, let's go take a look at those at Rudy and her friend. And I also need to check the eggs to make sure no more has hatched. There has not been any more hatch. And it was like I said, yesterday two hatched. And by the time I realized that it was time for them to hatch, um one was already damaged pretty bad and when i got out there this morning and checked real early this morning one of the black ones had already had a little place on its wing so we're gonna i'm, I'm having to keep a real close eye on them and make sure that um they're not getting injured um so let's go take a look let's go check okay so here we are in the chicken coop and um obviously there's broody and her friend and you can see she gets a little feisty when I come in here. I don't hear any chickens when I come in this morning. Chicks, I mean, I um, automatically heard them. I don't hear any, but what I'm going to do is move these girls. And they don't really like for me to move them that much. But I'm going to have to move them to make sure that there are no babies under there. She's on an egg, but no babies yet. And let's see. She's on some eggs too, but no babies. And I'm no babies. And I'm wondering. Oh, I got a little crazy with the camera. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm wondering if these eggs that they're not on they're letting move out from under them I'm wondering if they know if they're not good or good which that one that I just tucked back under was good but I wonder if they have a sense to tell which ones are good and which ones are not good um, by just being on them and sitting on them you know God gives them such amazing um, senses so I don't know we'll see so we don't have any chicks right now um, but I just have to keep coming out here and checking on them. What are y'all doing? Being nosy? Y'all being nosy? 
and um and and if you see the way our coop is set up these chickens have access to come over here and the two times that i come in and found the chicks down on the ground down here running around which is nothing wrong with that but apparently they're getting bullied by the roosters and the hens in there and i don't want that and i did see they were both they had left their eggs and the both the first day the two white chicks that were down here they were one was on one baby and one was on the other baby and this morning when i come out one baby was still in the coop and one was down here and you had one up there and one down here with the mamas but somehow they're still getting picked on by these guys in here they're still getting picked on somehow and i don't want to lose them so for right now it's just best for us to take them out so Babies? No babies right now. So that's a quick little update of what's going on with the chicks and the chickens. Chickies. Hey chickies. And what do we tell them, Sailor? Hi.